Ofcom, what the hell is the Viva Just Meat advert? Vegetarian terrorist propaganda? What the... <laughs> Vegetarian terrorist propaganda! <laughs> so... If you haven't heard, Viva, an amazing vegan animal charity, had their advertisement aired on national TV. Whenever someone is reminded of the truth about their food choices, they always seem to get all up in arms about it. So we thought we'd go with a report from one of the most reputable newspapers in the world. Very esteemed paper here, so be prepared. The Daily Mail. Their headlines are always great, aren't they? They're just great clickbait. I could learn a lot from this clickbait, actually, for the YouTube channel. It says... Showing a pig with a meat cleaver is disgusting. Backlash at controversial vegan TV advert in which a couple receive a live pig and the weapon to kill it as a takeaway order. It's interesting. Showing a pig with a meat cleaver is disgusting. It's okay to show butchery adverts with hacked off pieces of meat whilst getting cut with a meat cleaver, but you know, showing a live animal and a meat cleaver one step too far. What we're gonna actually do is we're gonna go through this article. We will review the advertisement and see how controversial it really is. And then we'll go through the comments because the comments are the juiciest parts, aren't they really? So stay tuned for that. Let's see what everyone's complaining about. Hmm, try vegan. I want meat. Just meat. Sounds good. Pulled pork. <laughs> oh, I'm so hungry. I could eat a horse. Just meat delivered fresh to your door. Oh, piggy! With a free gift for new customers. <laughs> Try going vegan today. Wow. That was just so controversial. It was actually really cleverly done. I'm actually really impressed with that, 30 seconds. And it just had a really strong message. But, like, it was more cryptic. It was like, there's the piglet. They want pulled pork. Here's a meat cleaver. It's very mild, very TV-ish. It wasn't, like, violent or... It was just it was just suggestive. A controversial advert by vegan campaign group Viva has sparked fury from meat eaters as it seeks to put them off by showing a live pig delivered at the door as a takeaway. The hard-hitting clip shows the pair lounging on the sofa with their dog before deciding to order a pulled pork takeaway from the fictional app Just Meat. That's interesting they put the dog in there, too, because it shows a couple who are sitting with a dog a companion animal, and then they order the chopped up body of a pig, who are more intelligent than dogs, like dogs in many ways, they just look different, but we've been culturally conditioned to eat pigs. Very clever. Moments later, a delivery man arrives at the door with a live pig and a meat cleaver ready for the couple to use, who look back at it with disgust. Like most meat eaters do, when you show them the reality of where their meat comes from. Most people don't want to know about that. They want to keep their head in the sand. Viva itself has described the 30 second clip as controversial. Well, the thing is, the topic of eating meat is always going to be controversial when you're telling people to stop doing it. If you are telling people to eat meat in a more humane way, you know, treat the animals better, that's not controversial. You're not going to get controversy and people debating. When you tell people to stop eating meat, that it's wrong, you're always going to get controversy. And that's probably why v Viva agreed it was controversial. And users online weren't pulling any punches either. Andy Pike wrote on Twitter, Ofcom, what the hell is the Viva Just Meat advert? Vegetarian terrorist propaganda? What the... <laughs> Vegetarian? Terrorist propaganda. <laughs> Ofcom, I think Ofcom are like a uh, uh, standard that TV have to adhere to or something, Ofcom standards. What the hell is this? Meat advert. Oh, you know what? Like every time I turn on the TV, there's adverts for meat constantly. Eat chicken, eat meat, eat eggs, dairy is healthy, this and that. No one complains about that. Ofcom, where were you when you were telling us to eat meat and dairy and eggs constantly? And all this nonsense farming propaganda on your little farming TV show saying, look at this humane dairy farm and look at this humane meat industry and the poor farmers and this constantly propaganda on the other side, right? But as soon as there's a little bit of, uh, you know, pro-animal stuff on the on TV, it's, oh my God, what are you doing forcing this down my throat? Oh my God, this is vegan terrorism. Just calm down, Andy Pike. God, you'd be fun to have at a party. Matt B added, absolute state of that Just Meat Viva vegan propaganda advert. Matt B, have you seen the state of television lately? How many meat, cheese, milk and egg adverts on then? You don't call that propaganda. Like, such hypocrisy. And Adam Sturdy tweeted, at Channel 4, what the F was that advert? Try vegan today? Personally, I'm vegetarian, but showing a pig with a meat eater is just plain disgusting. There are children watching FFS. Yeah, the same children who eat the pigs that, that their parents feed them, and they don't even know half the time that it's a real pig, you know, that they're eating, or a real fish, or a real chicken. Like, tch, come on. And Adam Sturdy, oh, I'm a vegetarian, but this is just offensive. Well, why are you vegetarian? For health reasons or something? Like, why would you think that that was disgusting. 
Have you seen inside a slaughterhouse lately? Have you have you seen what your society participates in and, and defends? That advert was nothing compared to what actually happens in factory farms and slaughterhouses across the world and in the UK particularly. Are you disgusted that people are killing animals and eating them? Or are you just disgusted that Viva put on almost like a G-rated advertisement that wasn't disgusting at all? It didn't have no violence in it. It just was suggestive. God, if you if you want to shield children from that, but you have children on TikTok listening to nonsense constantly and children are being propagated lies by the meat industry constantly and no one talks about that and you're worried about this advert, wow, you should shield yourself from the world, Adam Sturdy, because, mate, there's a lot worse things out there than this advert, that's for sure. But not all viewers were critical. A Twitter user by the name of I Heart Vegan wrote, wow, whoa, did anybody else just see the vegan ad Viva advert? Amazing work, guys, getting that out. Wow, really powerful. Viva advert, hashtag go vegan. <clears throat> well, we got the vegan supporting it, of course. <laughs> but anyone who doesn't want to change is, is going to come out with negativity, aren't they? The, the thing is about this type of advertising is the people who were just, who took the message on and, and you know, actually kind of like got something from it aren't the ones who are going to comment with negativity and backlash. It's always going to be, you know, those sort of meat-eating snowflakes who are like, oh my God, don't, don't tell me not to eat meat. Don't tell me the truth about where meat comes from. It's always going to be those who like who are more vocal. So you're going to see those negative people way more vocal than than how it really affected people in reality. So you might have this large percentage of people who just watched it and had a seed planted and didn't really get upset about it and just thought, oh, wow, that's interesting. Yeah, you know, but then you get all these people who are the most vocal who are like, making it seem like more people were upset with this than actually were. Speaking about the TV advert, Viva founder and director Juliet Galatly, how Juliet said, to be a catalyst for change, we recognize that we must stay ahead of the curve with our messaging to have the biggest impact and reach as many people as possible. By broadcasting our first ever TV advert on mainstream te television, we're hopeful we can give veganism the airtime it needs. Most people in the UK despise cruelty to animals, yet simply don't make the connection between animal cruelty and what is on their plate. Very well said, Juliet. A Channel 4 spokesperson said, we believe it's up to our viewers to make their own judgment about the adverts they see across Channel 4's platforms. Good on you, Channel 4. I mean, you, people are acting like babies, like cry babies. Oh my God, I can't believe this. There's children watching. God, if that's what you're worried about children watching, like it's just a bunch of cry babies, really. The pro meat adverts you should be just as upset about. Otherwise, you're just completely biased. Really, that advertisement had a much better message for your children to be hearing, like care about all animals. Don't have selective compassion. You know, think about where your food comes from. Don't you want your children to be educated or do you want them to join you in the dark and not know anything and live in ignorance and then be completely hyper offended when anyone mentions anything close to the truth? Like, come on, I want a, I want a more progressive world where our children understand these things and make up their own minds and not be shielded by reality. There was nothing wrong with that advert. Nothing wrong with it. It was absolutely epic. <laughs> it was good. It was really clever. If you want to have some fun, go through the comments. That's what I do. That actually, that's what I do on a Tuesday, is go through upset snowflake meat, meat eaters comments. Um, wow. Interesting. And they call vegan snowflakes. At least we've got something to actually be offended about, like the systematic torture and slaughter of billions of animals, which is like a serious, serious issue. But you all get... Uh, I'm not saying all meat eaters are... Uh, uh, look, there's plenty of reasonable people who eat meat and just are, are learning along the way. So this is just for the, the ones who pretend to be outraged at it because they don't like having their dinner ruined. Vegan TV advert, oh my, with a pig? Whoever passed this TV advert to be aired is not a good person. <sighs> do you hold the meat industry to that same standard? I hope you do. Otherwise, you're a massive hypocrite. It's not my job to process the meat that I eat, thanks. That's what slaughterhouse processing jobs are for. Move along, please. Yeah, you just like to pay the slaughterhouse workers to do the dirty work so they get the PTSD and the perpetrator-induced traumatic stress from killing the screaming animals who desperately don't want to die. You just like to be completely disconnected from the process and pay someone to do the dirty work. It's very uh, disheartening to hear that people are fine to pay someone else to do cruel things to animals that they wouldn't otherwise do. Uh, Ribble V says, I'd happily use the cleaver. No dramas. Meat is meat. Nom, nom, nom. And then we got a hero here. You know, you always get a hero and it's got 620 likes. Wow. You always get one of the heroes who like are trying to be tough and like, yeah, mate, I'm so cool. I'd use the cleaver on an innocent pig. I'm I'm just the coolest, toughest, funniest person in the whole of the internet. Meat is meat, nom nom nom. So if meat is meat, you'd be happily you would happily eat a human child. If meat is meat, you'd happily eat you know anyone that's been hacked up with a meat cleaver. You'd eat a dog, eat a hippopotamus, eat a, a monkey, an elephant. Uh, one of your family members. Meat is meat. You don't actually care about what's moral as long as it's made out of meat. Wow, well, that's pretty cool. Um, don't really want you in the society that I'm living in. Uh, GB says, now is a very good time to launch an app called Just Meat. 
So someone here is a very pro-meat, very pro the torture and slaughter of billions of animals. You know, a lot of these people, they, they haven't stepped foot inside a slaughterhouse or a factory farm and smelt the fear and the blood and, you know, the, the looked into the, the suffering eyes of these animals. They're just like sitting back from their computer, you know, trying to be funny and tough and heroic. So KT94 says, wow, I'm a vegetarian. I even think this is propaganda. And wow, thanks, Katie, for your input on that. Like, maybe Katie would rather that the torture and slaughter of billions of animals continued maybe, as a vegetarian. If you think that that's propaganda, right, just telling people, hey, stop eating pigs. Yeah, and Viva have an agenda. Their agenda is to help animals and to, to have the public stop causing the horrors that happen to animals across the world. And uh, all the meat adverts have an agenda too, to keep you blinded, shielded, and uh, consuming all of those products. And as a vegetarian, you're supporting the dairy industries and the egg industries who torture and slaughter animals in the UK as well. So of course you're gonna say, oh, this is propaganda and it's disgusting, because you don't really care about animals. You care more about eating your cheese and eggs than you do about the lives of egg layer hens and dairy cows. So I wouldn't expect you to be on board with it. Uh, DM and Dumber says, dumb and dumber. What's the matter? Can't people handle the truth? That's the smartest comment I've heard from Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> wow. Isn't that? Dumb and Dumber's smarter, more rational than the rest of the commenters. Thanks, Dumb and Dumber. People can't handle the truth, and I think they all get butt hurt and have a big cry when people show them that their f food, quote unquote, actually comes from a slaughtered baby animal. Pigs are slaughtered at five to six months old. They're like infants when they're slaughtered in gas chambers or electrically stunned and stabbed in the throat. It's just horrible, horrible violence towards animals. At least you'd know it's fresh. This has got 1,400 likes. So if it's fresh, that makes it moral, ethical, fine to do, just as long as they you slaughter anyone, any animal, quickly and eat them almost immediately, at least you know it's fresh. Very interesting way to navigate morality. Note that vegans cannot convince us meat eaters based on taste alone. Okay, what about morality? What about what's ethical? Like, do you think that your taste preferences matter more than an animal's life matters to them? Do you think that you having some fleeting taste sensation matters more to you than the animal's entire existence matters to them? Have you ever thought about that? No? You ever weighed that up? If people don't understand or can't accept that eating meat means that an animal was killed, then you shouldn't be eating meat and need a dose of reality. Yeah. And I also believe that if you know an animal's killed and you face that reality and you still do it, then you are doing something that's unjustifiable and immoral. But I agree. People need to know where their food comes from and don't need to go, oh my God, children are watching this. Children are seeing like a meat cleaver next to a pig. This is horrible. Go inside a slaughterhouse. Tell me what you see. And that's quite funny. Vegans do make me laugh with their desperate attempts to force everyone else to follow their fad diets. Have you seen the desperate attempts by the meat, dairy, and egg industries to keep us consuming um, meat, dairy, and eggs constantly ever since I was a kid? Burger adverts, uh, beef, 100% Australian beef, and oh, British bacon, and oh my God, free range eggs, and uh, all of this milk and dairy and cheese and put cheese on everything and like meat dairy and egg industries spend way more on advertising than vegans ever could how often do you see a vegan advert on tv not often all right because we don't have the same type of funding as the meat industry do this is the thing people like to be told good things about their bad habits they like what they do to be validated they don't want anything that uh, that goes against their habits so if something's like telling them that part of their their culture and habit is wrong then they don't want to hear it they'd rather stay in the dark and stay comfortable if vegans were stuck on an island with no food except a pig and a cleaver they would soon be tucking in well wow, luckily we're not stuck on an island with a pig and a cleaver luckily we're stuck on this massive country called the uk and we've got choices to make, don't we? We're not in some situation where we don't have a choice and all we've got is a meat cleaver, a pig and starve to death, right? Hey, we're in the UK. You've got some of the best vegan options on earth and fruits, vegetables, grains and rice and beans, some of the cheapest foods in the supermarket. Or you've got all the, you've got all the fast food uh, places where you can get something vegan. You've got all these healthy options to get something vegan. You've got all of these restaurants to get something vegan, you know? So luckily you're not just stuck on an island with a pig and a cleaver. Very different situation. Talk about a survival situation. People have been known to eat each other in survival situations, so all morality goes out the window when you're in a survival situation, doesn't it? All right, and finally we've got Richard. This is probably one of the most uh, intelligent comments I've ever heard. It says, if you think we shouldn't be eating meat, start from your front teeth, number one, then count back to position three. One, two, three. Put your finger between the top and bottom teeth and bite down hard. They are your incisors designed for ripping and tearing. Look at your meat-eating dog or cat. They have exactly the same design. Wow, Richard. 
That was intelligent. One, that is not an incisor. That is a canine. I think the word you're looking for was a canine. I believe the one next to it is an incisor. This is Richard's evidence that we should be slaughtering billions of animals and eating them. Bite down on your thumb. Can you feel that? Wow, they're for ripping and tearing. Look at your dog and cat. They have the same design. So your dog, right, licks their own balls, licks their own bum, walks around naked, barks at neighbors, right? Your cat, they eat dead mice that have been sitting there and decomposing for weeks. They will drag in a dead bird or mouse. So you're saying that, you know, we should just mimic what dogs and cats do, domesticated animals do. Have you seen a hippopotamus? They have really large uh, teeth, the largest canines in the entire animal kingdom, and they're herbivores. Just because you have a body part that can do something doesn't mean you should use it to do something that is inherently cruel and immoral. I have a fist, should I punch people in the face with it? Just because I have hands doesn't mean I should use them to strangle people with. I mean, yeah, I do have these teeth. Does that mean I should eat human children with those teeth or eat dogs and cats with those teeth? Just because I have teeth doesn't mean I should use them to eat whoever I want and not analyze the ethics of it. The point is we don't need to eat meat to survive or to be healthy so it's completely unjustifiable just because you have like this little tiny pathetic pointy tooth you know it doesn't mean you should use it to chow down on whoever you want. All right guys so that's my response to the backlash of the Viva advert controversy. Well done, Viva. Amazing uh, job getting that out to the mainstream, getting people talking, and that's what we, we need. We need discussion. We need people talking, debating this topic, getting it into the minds of the masses and having them think about it. These seeds that get planted in people's minds, they might not like it at the start, but it gets them thinking, doesn't it? What do you guys think down below? Did you think that the Viva advert went too far, or do you think some of these uh, people are being snowflakeish? and a little bit soft and a little bit crybaby-ish. Sometimes the, the most stupid comments are the loudest. I just don't think looking at the negative comments is a very good gauge of how that advertisement did in the minds of the, the masses. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.